Hi, Shira Seven. I want to do a topic video for y'all today about taking care of yourself. And I don't mean like, a, it's not like a health video or anything like that. It It's about putting yourself and your needs as a priority and not everyone else's needs before yours because first of all, you're not going to be able to help anybody if you're not you know, mentally balanced, if you're not happy, if you're not at your, you know, highest vibration, or if you're not, um, you know, feeling good about yourself. You're just going to go around trying to make other people happy, doing stuff for other people. And if you're not happy within 100%, then you're not going to be able to make anyone else happy either because, um, uh, you're not even vibrating at the highest level. So you can't give them 100% anyway. So it's best to go ahead, take care of yourself first, get all of your needs out of the way, um, make sure that you're happy, and then ask whoever that you are, you know, doing things for or with, how can I help you today, you know? Is there something I can do for you today to make your life easier? I'm free. I've done everything that I need to do. Now, what is it that you're want, wanting? You know, and you can please people a lot better and, you know, make people happy if you're already happy, if you're already satisfied, if you've already done all you need to do. You know, you're not stressed. You're doing it out of the kindness of your heart for the right reason. You're not being, you know, persuaded or manipulated to do anything for anybody. So when you do offer help or when you do offer something to someone, it's out of the pure intentions of your heart. There's no manipulation going on. There is no exchange. It's just the purest form or unconditional way of, you know, contributing to someone else's happiness. So that's one of the reasons why you know, a lot of people say, love yourself first because it will teach you how to love others. And this is like a lot of people that go straight over their head because they're like, well, I do love myself. I do love, but when I say love yourself, it means make yourself happy first, do everything you need to do for you first. And then, you know, once you've done everything for yourself and you feel good about yourself, and you're vibrating at that high level of happiness, you can then give it to someone else because your vibrations and your happiness within is going to show and it's going to, you know, make you want to do something for others without expecting anything in return because you're already satisfied. You don't need anything from them. You don't need them to help you because you're already satisfied. You've got everything under control. You've you've done everything that you needed to do and you have all this extra to give because you're already fulfilled. Now, when you do stuff for other people and forget about yourself, you're neglecting yourself. You're neglecting your soul, your spirit, your well-being and so when you do something for someone else it seems like work it's like oh i gotta go do this i gotta go pick this person up because they need a ride and you know oh, i'm they're not gonna give me any gas money or i gotta pick their kids up from school and they don't even you know help me do anything when you're doing stuff like that for other people and you know out of you know wanting something in return later on then it's for the wrong reason now if you you know if you call someone say hey I know you're busy you know I've just gone to the spa I've just had my nails done I just had a nice swim in the pool I just you know took a long nap and I have all this energy and I really don't have any plans for the rest of the day um, would you like if I picked up your kids from school today? I know you're, you know, you're at work and I know you don't want to like rush and get off early or such and such. Can I, can I pick up your kids? And the person, first of all, the person is going to be, oh, really? That's so nice of you. How unexpected, you know, are you, do you need anything? And you're like, oh no, I just have all this extra time. I'm right by the school anyway. So 
when you made yourself happy and you have extra time on your hand and you feel like you know you can help someone else that is the true you know way to give not like don't if you know someone's calling you because they need something and you fear answering the phone that's not good okay if you don't answer the phone that's your that's your choice if you feel guilty for not answering the phone that's your choice too like a lot of people need to learn how to say no say no don't even answer the phone take care of you first okay and then if you feel like doing something for somebody else out the kindness of your heart then do it okay don't make people feel like they um you're obligated to help them because you are not you are no one's doormat. You are no one's, you know, maid. Unless they're paying you and you have an agreement of being paid to do a certain thing, then you should not feel obligated to do anything for anybody. And that's just the truth. A lot of people live so unhappy every day because they're stuck. They're stuck with obligations. They're stuck with their own guilt. They're stuck with people that manipulate them on a daily basis. And they wonder why they're so unhappy or unsatisfied or walked over or done wrong in relationships or done, you know, or talked about behind their back by their friends who they think they're, who they think are their friends and, and more. And why their kids don't respect them and why their kids run over them because You've put yourself last. You're telling everyone, hey, I don't matter. I'm last. Treat me like this because I treat myself like this. So it's okay for you to treat me really bad because I'm last. You're first, okay? Anytime you need something, just call me. I'll be running over, okay? No. Make people call you as a last resort when they need something, okay? Be one of those people in the phone contacts where you are the last person someone will call when they need something, okay? That's the kind of person you wanna be because that's the most respected person in your phone list. Think about it. Think about it. The most, the people that you call when you need something done or help or uh, something done, the last person you call is the person that you most value their opinion, most value uh, and respect them, and only call them when, you know, you have good news. You know, you're only giving them your best because they only expect that, okay? So be one of those kind of people. Don't be one of those kind of people where, oh, she'll do it if I call her. And I know it's 2 o'clock in the morning, but she'll do it, you know? Don't be one of those people, you know, unless you're getting paid. That's what personal assistants do in Hollywood, in California. You are not a personal assistant unless you are on a payroll. Okay? A lot of women, especially women, they get caught up. And they're so, they just so want to be into a social circle or to be accepted by someone that they will actually lay down and be someone's doormat. And it's just not good for you. You know, it's just not good for your well-being, for your vibration or anything you know so i've made a lot of these videos and a lot of women need to hear this kind of stuff from other women because it justifies you know saying no it's okay to say no it won't make you less of a woman it will make you a respected woman who stands their ground and says you know no people only treat you how you allow them to treat you and if you allow them to treat you any type of way that's what they will continue to do so ladies gentlemen children say no and just mean it and just say you know after i do all of my things if i have time i will call you back okay take care of you first you are number one if you can't take care of you first, you can't take care of nobody, okay? Then you just can't, okay? Make yourself happy because you have to live with yourself, you know? You do. So if, you have, if you're if you just around someone that's continuously depending on you for every little thing, you need to cut them off or, you know, take a vacation from them. Take a vacation if you don't want to cut them off. Just say, you know what? I'm going to be unavailable for the next three days or my phone doesn't work. It's, you know, I, I have to order a new one. Make up something. 
But see how better you feel in those three days when you're not dealing with someone that is constantly, you know, asking you for things, using you for things, making them first above your needs. Just take a short vacation and see how much better you feel about yourself, how much how much happier you are and you know it will make it easier the next time to say like, ignore on your phone or don't care what they think about you if you say no it's the most liberating feeling if you've been living in a life where people call you for every single thing okay all right i hope this video helps y'all if y'all are in this situation if not please pass it to someone who you know is in this situation and comment rate subscribe oh and um check out my etsy store the magical sparkle shop i'm selling phone cases and oils jewelry uh soaps and more so check it out all right peace